Hello, my name is Steve Tom, and I am the product line manager for GAN products at Texas Instruments. Today, I will be introducing the advantages of gallium nitride for power delivery and automotive applications. I'll focus on three main topics. First is that GAN enables the highest power density and efficiency at lowest cost, both compared to existing MOSFET technologies, as well as emerging silicon carbide devices. Second, GAN lends itself well to higher levels of integration. For example, integrating the gate driver reduces power loss and can simplify and solve system challenges by monitoring voltage, current, and temperature. Finally, TI has been developing this technology for over 10 years, including investments in capacity, infrastructure, and reliability. The ability of GAN to maximize power density is due to its superior switching performance, which is quantified in the figure on the left. This figure shows the relative switching loss of TI GAN compared to 650 and 900 volt silicon carbide devices and highlights that for a given load current, GAN has much lower switching loss. What this means for the system is that the switching frequency can be much faster, resulting in much smaller magnetics. On the right, in this 6.6 .6 kilowatt example, the power magnetics are shown to reduce in volume by 60%. Beyond the superior switching performance of GAN, TI goes one step further by integrating a silicon gate driver. This block diagram shows both the high voltage GAN FET as well as the low voltage silicon gate driver. The combination of these technologies is what enables optimal performance. Not only does this partitioning optimize switching and minimize power loss, it also enables a variety of performance and protection benefits by monitoring voltage, current, and temperature. TI has a complete roadmap of integrated driver devices from 30 milliohm to 150 milliohm. Packaging innovation is also important to improve thermal management for high density systems. New products include lower on resistance for higher power levels including the first automotive topside cool device. TI has a long history with GAN spanning more than 10 years with a focus on reducing cost and increasing capacity. TI chose GAN on silicon to enable the lowest cost long-term technology while leveraging existing tools as much as possible to minimize additional CapEx spending. Initial TI GAN products were first launched in 2016 which included a focus on 800 volt, 10 kilowatt grid link converters in partnership with Siemens. Since then, hundreds of customers have engaged and are ramping across multiple end equipments in industrial and power delivery sectors. This includes telecom rectifiers, server power supply units, charging piles for electric vehicles, AC to DC converters for factory automation, and integrated motor drive robotics, just to name a few. Most recently, TI's first automotive GAN FET has launched for onboard charging and electric vehicles. Looking into the future, TI is expanding its manufacturing footprint significantly to anticipate production requirements. Final topic is TI's comprehensive approach to reliability. This includes extensive in-power supply testing, which means that TI GAN devices have been stressed at equivalent in-circuit conditions at voltage, current, and temperature which effectively guards against charge trapping. Intrinsically, significant effort has been invested in testing for time-dependent breakdown lifetime, which helps minimize fit rate over 10 years. Finally, integration of the gate driver helps address uh, external uh, challenges, for example, short circuit and overcurrent and surge events. A combination of these three reliability strategies has shown effective in providing holistically reliable products. Thank you very much for your time and attention on TI GAN. I look forward to engaging in the future.